Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we're back in Forza Horizon 3 and we've got our Willy's Jeep and our Willy's Jeep we just want, well, I would say we just, uh, off camera, I just finished the Jeep Championship which I honestly regret not filming because it was really, really, really fun. Like, it's probably one of the most fun championships I've done so far, especially because this thing can go 90, and then you floor it, and you just bring it back, no problem. So, it's probably, like, one of the most hilarious vehicles to drive that I actually have. So, really, really, really enjoyed driving this thing around. And what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm actually going to go and probably just build a uh, build something really, really, really... Uh, stupid? I think that's probably a good decision. I mean, it's usually not, but this time it is. And I'll say, I'll tell you why it is. Because when you build cars that have no reason to be, uh, like, no reason to be built for anything specifically at all, especially if they're not built to be competitive, then you have a massive scope of what you can do. And yes, most of the time, it's going to be a little ricey, but that's the that's the point of doing stupid builds. Um, and I am going to do... I kind of want to do the Vulcan, but I feel like if I tear up a Vulcan, everybody is... Oh my god, that's, that's going to be... Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. I don't even know where this is like... Where this is going to go in the end, but I am, uh, I'm very curious. <laughs> oh, I would hate to tear this thing up, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it for science. We're gonna tear this thing up and we're gonna do it for science because <laughs> I, oh, I, I need to see what we can do to this particular Aston Martin Vulcan. It's like almost like a <laughs> it's such oh my god it's such a gorgeous car oh I hate to do something to it you know what I'm gonna do to it I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do, turn it into a drift car I'm gonna try and turn it into a drift car because generally oh god Ralph <gasps> no that just like turned the tables completely can you put off-road tires on it Yes, you can. Aston Martin Vulcan rally car. Done. We are doing this. This is going to be so... Like, it's it's going to be a bit... It, it, it's a bit of a dumb idea, I agree. But with 355s in the front and 375s in the back, all oh, this is going to be a monster on the dirt. And, of course, rally tires. So, I'm going to go with a wheel design that's rally-ish. I mean, that's kind of sort of rally-ish, so I'm going to just go with that, <laughs> and we're going to leave them like as small as we can. Again, this is an all-wheel drive, or well, this is a rally conversion, so we're going all-wheel drive, we're going to see what happens. I did equip the all-wheel drive, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So now from here, we go to the engine. We can't really... You know, unfortunately, we can't slap turbos on it because it would probably be the greatest thing in the history of Forza if we could slap turbos on this thing. But unfortunately, they don't let us, and that's whatever, but it's all good. 962 naturally aspirated horsepower. 962 horsepower and 663 pound-feet of torque naturally aspirated out of a 3,200-pound Aston Martin basically fantasy race car that has now been lifted and put on off-road tires. So this is completely and utterly not something that you want to do, but at the end of the day, I feel like it, it, it kind of is, and it's in the back of the it's in the backs of the minds of interesting people. Um, <laughs> gonna drop that tire pressure just a little bit. And gearing, oh crap, we forgot to go back and do drivetrain, because we swapped it. Drivetrain, we'll do clutch, we'll do gearbox, we'll do, uh, we'll do drive shaft, and we'll do diff. Get that all done and out of the way so we don't have to worry about it. So it's all done. Install setup, 
Yes. So now that we're good to go on that, what I think we should probably do is make sure in the tuning that we're all good, like, across the board when it comes to things like suspension travel and ride height and tire pressure and that kind of stuff. So since it's a rally car, we're going to put it a little bit closer to acceleration. We're going to make a uh, 4... 410, maybe a little bit more, 420, oh, 420 gears, bro. But no, uh, three degrees negative, two degrees negative in the back. That'll work. We'll soften the front up a little bit. Holy crap, there's sirens outside my apartment. I don't know if you guys can hear that right now in the video, but damn, ride height's maxed out. It's only 3.7 inches in the front, four and a half inches in the rear, and that's but that's maxed out lift. We can't go any further up than that, so soften everything else a little bit. Let's see, soften the bump a little bit, and we'll make sure, break a little bit more front, up our pressure by just a bit. Now, I am going to, we're going to bring, we're going to do like maybe a 90, 90, 80. So both are going to lock, it's going to lock up quicker under power and quicker under braking and decel. So should be a decent setup for the dirt, but we'll see what happens when we get it out there. Because I am uh, really, really excited to say the least. It's not going to be any rally car, I guess, like it's, oh my God, listen to that. That's insane. That has got to be, I mean, especially when it comes to rally cars, that's the best sounding rally car I've ever heard. Hello, 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 Jeeps. I guess a drift zone is as good as place as any to test it out. Eh, we can do better. We can do way better. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but we need more speed, and we need a lot more angle. Oh, wait, what? That was three stars? Holy crap, that's insane. I'm going to go back and see if I can beat it anyway. Oh, yeah. We're going to beat it. Hopefully, come on. I'm like... I feel like we're close. Oh, yeah. Oh, over 50. Beat it by a little bit. Not too, too bad. Okay. So, back to dirt things. I am going to go and explore some rally routes around the map that I haven't been to yet. I mean, I've been there, but I haven't really done a lot of exploring. I may have, like, just driven by or just driven by when I was, like, doing a race or something. I never actually went and explored. And the thing is, when you're testing out a vehicle like this, you need to go and explore areas. Or not even explore, but you need to just drive it first to see if it actually works before you race it. <laughs> so, that's, like, I think that's that's the deal for me when it comes to, like, you know, building something that's generally not used for stuff like this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, Nick. Ow. Nick's Jeep. Oh, okay. Danger sign. We will be back for that. We'll do that later in this particular car, too. The all-wheel drive just pulls it around the corner. That's insane. It's like Ken Block style. Now, if we can just, like, get it a little bit better under control... bumper tap back there is not nothing too bad is this water or okay i was like is that water or pavement with a really weird reflection literally you pull the e-brake pull the e-brake turn floor it and then counter steer it's a little bit different than you would normally drive an aston martin vulcan but it's okay we can get used to it bring it around the corner Ooh. i want that xp give me that xp board and i'll have it like now All right, e-brake, not bad, getting a little bit better. God, you got to you gotta e-brake way earlier. It's like that whole turn before the corner mentality that you see a lot of rally drivers getting into. 
crap. That was way early. <laughs> when I said turn before the corner, I didn't mean that far before the corner. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I want to go back up, but I want to go back up after I actually finish this last bit of road and discover it for the last time. Not really for the last time. It's not the last time I'm going to drive on it, but still. No! I was way too low in the power band, and I pulled the e-brake too late and spun. That's embarrassing. 402 out of 488. Not too bad. What PR stun is down here? I want to find out what's down here. Ooh. Oh, speed trap. Okay. Yeah, we can... We can work with the speed trap later. Too eh. That's not too, too bad. All right. So, the next task is to run back up the hill and do that danger sign jump. A little better. I highly doubt it'll be enough for three stars, though. Oh, yeah. Not not enough at all for three stars. First corner, not too bad. Oh, hello. God, there's still... I love how we're in the Aston now, and there's still a bunch of Jeeps driving around because I just got out of that Willy's Jeep. Just, oh, they put that tree, they put that tree there specifically to do that, too. Like, just so you would hit it. I feel like we're going to need to tune the gears a little bit, too. Like, if we're going to be using this thing for, like, dedicated rally purposes, I'm going to need some slightly shorter gears, especially in the transition from second to third. Because there's some areas where second is too low, but third is way too high. But would you just listen to that soundtrack it's got, though? And we're, we, yeah, we've spun it again. Hello. <laughs> I recognize you. Oh, God. Just, just, just stick with, just stick with the plan and actually keep it on the road. Jump the creek entirely that time. See how third is way too, you know what? Third needs to be shortened up a good bit. Gearing. Shorten up third. It's good to go. Shorten up fourth. And shorten up fifth. And we'll leave sixth the way it is because we're generally not going to be using sixth on something that drives like a rally stage. You know, like an area that's like a rally stage. I love that corner. <laughs> that corner is so much fun. All right, now we got to get some speed and hit that danger sign. This is going to be insane. It's actually a really good end to this, like, little build slash test. Again, everybody's still out in their Jeeps. All right, are we ready for a launch? Get it. No, go away, Anna. I'm, I'm busy right now. Seriously, I'm very busy. Oh, the suspension is still too stiff for this. Please. Please, three stars. Probably a two, to be honest. Yeah. How many more feet do we need for a, for a, uh, for a three? Hasn't told me yet. I want it to tell me. Oh, please, come on. Oh, don't do that to me. Come on. Tell me. <laughs> God, tell me wh how much more... It didn't tell me. It may, it may have told me earlier, and I just missed it. But um, I will be using this car a lot more again in the future. You guys can be guaranteed of that. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.